uh, anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, uh, I just dropped a pretty big story. Um, I think it's probably going to, probably going to get some, get some attention. Um, I'm officially dis or D endorsing the A24 campaign. As it stands now, I don't want anything to do with this, what's happening, what I from just from what I've seen in the public with this involvement of Milo, with the kind of removal of the Jewish and the Christian stuff. Um, I have you know no what? more interest in this at all, and I'm officially officially disendorsing. Um, withdrawing my endorsement, I, I guess, would be the official way to say that. Um, because I, this this is transformed into something that I, I don't want anything to do with. I don't know what's going on. I don't have any insider information. I don't know what what Nick's role at this point is. What I've seen is what we've all seen. These articles that Milo is in charge. We've seen the text showing Yay saying that Milo is in charge, um, and that uh, you, you know these were texts apparently responding to Nick, who was protesting Milo being in charge that that Ye said, you know, Milo is in charge now. Um, you know, we haven't heard from this guy for six months. That's which, another, that's a big what, problem, honestly. That's one of the problems it, I have. It, and, yeah. you know, it started, it started with when he got married to this woman, and we don't know what's going on with this woman. We know her name is Sensori, Sensor E, um, which is interesting to say the least. Um, but this woman could be a honeypot. She could be working with the Jews in any capacity. I mean, he's... Uh, Yay for you know all all his positives. He clearly got problems with women if we look at his history, um, you know. And I, I think that this woman—that's the timeline that this woman was brought in, and all of a sudden he disappears. Um, we get like rare messages. One of them being that weird Jonah Hill. I forgive the Jews because Jonah Hill is funny in Twenty One Jump Street, which in a certain context was, that could be funny. Yeah. I be, laughed you know, when I saw it, but it was also like, oh, is he t- doing a U-turn here? Like, what is this? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. it, it uh, was also because it, there was no context right. to it because he'd been silent for six months. Like, is this the beginning of some kind of reversal yeah. of what we saw, uh, you know, leading leading up to Alex Jones and then the ultimate, exp- the ultimate Alex Jones show experience where it looked like, you know, <laughs> we're coming in hot. We're just going to keep rolling. Um, and then all of a sudden he, we, we get these announcements of a, you know, rushed marriage and then everything dark and then nothing other than that Jonah Hill tweet. I don't know if there was anything else. I guess he dropped that song, maybe two songs, uh, which weren't particularly political or anything that not meant as a message to the, you know, the fans of the, of the political stuff. Um, and then the, the next thing we hear six months later is that my love in charge. So, you know, I mean, this is not, uh, this is not something I can put my support behind um, officially in any, in, in really in any capacity. Um, I hope, I, I wish him the best, you know, I, I wish Nick the best for whatever his involvement in, the, in that situation is at this point, but I, I don't want anything to do with it from, from what I've seen um, at, the, at this time. Um, Milo and I have had problems going back to 2016 or 2017. You know, I was, I was pretty, you know, I was kind of a big deal back then. Uh, you know, uh, before, not to say you're on harm, meetings. but uh, toot toot. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I knew, I knew everybody. I was, I was in contact with all the people involved with all the, all the stuff. And people don't remember, maybe people, some people remember that before the, um, before the election, it was kind of like okay to be um, associated. Like the the far right was talking about Jews and you know wh- white identity and this stuff. Like it, it was okay for those people to be associated with like Jack Posobiec and Mike Cernovich. If you go back, Mike Cernovich has tweets talking about Jews that he's deleted. Jack Posobiec has a lot uh, yeah, and no. a lot of like fourteen eighty eight stuff. So you know this was all kind of one big. There weren't lines like there were post election when somebody came in and said if you want to be official or you know semi official um, surrogates for the campaign and involved in this political stuff, you got to drop certain topics. And you know I got those offers and I said I, obviously I said no, but it's not happening. Um, so, you know, I mean, people took those offers, obviously, you know, Posobiec, Cernovich, and uh, apparently Milo, um, although he, uh, 
he ended up getting thrown under the bus for something that I don't really think mattered very much. I think it was sort of, yeah, but they were holding that in their back pocket the whole time. That's the thing. That clip was old. Like I knew all about that clip. I remember when it happened, I was in his slack group. Like I was in his inner circle basically, uh, at that time. And, um, I remember when he, he was so happy with the drunken peasants thing. Like he came in there like ebullient would be the word I would use. Um, just absolutely on top of the world. Uh, and he's like, yeah, I killed it. And I was like, yeah, it looked great. It's funny. Um, and he's so, like you're so used to hearing outrageous things. Like a lot of people who had followed his career, you really don't pick up. You know what I mean? Like I didn't pick up that that would be a big deal, really. Um, which I should have. But uh, I did It kind of wasn't. It wasn't at the time. Uh, yeah, but nobody, once it nobody was played, called it out at the time. Well, no, but once I mean, it was played it was three years later. By yeah, Reagan yeah. Yeah. It was a hit job by whatever. Jews, really. I mean, the Reagan Battalion is actually ran by um, Jews, hardcore Zionists. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, that's never stopped Milo from sucking up to Zionists, though, so I don't understand that. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, for whatever reason, yeah. they, they wanted him out. I, I, I don't know that that was necessarily fair, but after that, I mean... Keep wh- talking, wh- by the way. I'm going to get my milk thistle. I forgot to take it. I'm trying to be healthy liver style here. I know I don't want to harsh your buzz, but go ahead. Keep talking, though. I, I, I've got a lot to say. Um, so after he was he was thrown, um, thrown under the bus by the Republican establishment, they canceled his CPAC speech. Uh, he, he was basically just turned into a nobody. He was totally deplatformed. Um, and that's when a lot of, a lot more of the criminal behavior started. He's been involved in multiple scams that everybody knows about. I mean, he did that fake white privilege grant where he solicited something over a hundred thousand dollars. I don't remember the exact number, but it, it was 125 or $150,000 that he just kept, um, and, you know, I know some of the stuff about what was going on with his writing team at Breitbart even before he was thrown under the bus. I mean, there was a lot of checks that didn't get paid. I can say that. Um, you know, uh, I, I can't really go into, go into details about that. But he did, the, he did the white privilege scam, which is scamming, you know, honest people out of over $100,000. Then he started selling books that weren't written and, and taking, taking donations to, or taking funds to write a book that he never wrote. Then he started selling pre-orders of a book that he never wrote. Um, he's repeatedly scanned. I mean, there's a lot of different stories of this. I can tell you for a fact that nobody who's had any personal experience with Milo walked away thinking he was a good person or a person you could trust at all um, on any level. And then, you know, he, he's gay, which, you know, I, I don't know why that was acceptable in the first place. I mean, that's a whole other thing. But he, he was then um, gay married. Then he pretended to stop being gay, pretended to convert to Catholicism. Um, but he still lives with his husband. He's still legally married, his quote unquote husband. I mean, there's no such thing as a gay husband, but the terms that we use sure. now, um, he still lives with the man called his husband, still legally, quote unquote, anally married to the husband. Um, you know, there, there's no evidence of th- that he's not gay anymore. Um, so that's another hoax, a scam. Um, I don't know how you can actually stop being gay. Frankly, that doesn't really seem to be uh, possible from what I've learned of this type of individual. Um, but uh, the, the thing for me that seals the deal and just is, is something that I'm, I'm just, not, that I will not tolerate, you know, like all that other stuff that he's a scam artist, that he's a homosexual, fake Christian, whatever, you know, maybe you could just say, oh, okay, whatever. You know, he's perfect. Hold on one second. I mean, that's a lot of stuff. Brother What's sent $5 Twitter. Going oh to be man, they're going crazy about bitch. that. U24 gonna don't be know that by yet. a drugged up gay Jew federal well, agent. It's so over. Wait a I'm minute. gonna be an accelerationist now. I mean, will you be voting in 2024, Wanglin? What about you, Ralph? I have to fill out absentee ballot. I'm black pilled now, I guess. I mean, I have to fill out absentee ballot. Absentee ballot. I do have my voting rights back though, so probably yeah. But send ten dollars. Can you tell him they come out fast already? You're not concerned trolling his IT, and he needs to get on now before he ends up holding for years. Just mention it to him as a friend, please. I'm not memeing. I don't know. what. It, are you serious? <laughs> Elon voice is good. <laughs> yeah, Elon voice is good. Elon, are you serious? <laughs> I can't. I don't know anything about that. And uh, that would be inappropriate, probably. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know who the person is. Yeah, I just yeah. think the voice is yeah. good. <laughs> 
I'm just going to start addressing them as the fucking person. Whatever, Elon Trump, all these voices in my head coming at me. Is this, am I, am I actually on air right now? Or am I having another one of those fucking dreams? Like I, yeah, I don't know. Um, you know, I honestly, I, it's hard for me to support what's going on now too, to be real with you. Um, I did, I, I haven't said this on air. I might as well, since everybody else says their shit on air. Milo actually reached out to me a couple weeks ago and, um, a week or two, it was about a week or maybe 10 days ago or so. And, uh, so I was still early in this, uh, sobriety thing. And this is Ralph turned the stream on. The stream's on, nigga. What are you talking about? What stream? It's on Rumble, isn't it? It should be. The fuck are you talking about? Ban these niggas. What are they talking about? <laughs> They're fucking with you, Ralph. They're fucking with me. You know what? I'm just fucking with them. Don't ban them. I'm just kidding. They're just messing with me because what? So. Uh <laughs> 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 They're just playing off my joke. Don't ban them. Don't ban them. Um, but Milo actually, um, 10 days ago, messaged me and was about, you know, my wife and that. He's like, I, you know, I wish you the best. And I was like, yeah, that's nice. You know, you don't have to reach out. I appreciate that. You know, I would say that to anybody, honestly. And uh, several other enemies are quote unquote have actually reached out too. But Flats and ten dollars, and I'm aiming more concentrating. Tell him about finesse ready through his friend. It will be bold in three years if this continues. Be a good friend. Be a good friend. Well, look, he'll probably hear about it now. You're doing. <laughs> I'll look into it myself. I mean, I still got a pretty good amount of hair, but uh, my hair's a little thinner now, though. I don't know. Can it make your hair thicker? I don't know. I'll look into it myself. Uh, now, um, then, so I was like, okay, that's nice. Um, you know, I appreciate that. Thank you. And then the next night. <laughs> I shouldn't say this on air. I didn't tell it on air. I told a couple of people, but I didn't say it on air. Then the next, the next day, which I didn't respond to this one. The next day, he goes, "Let me know when you're ready to join the winning team." And I was like, "Cause I didn't say anything about the yay stuff. This was like, this was like the day he was getting reinstated, uh, or whatever." And that's why I said on air, I was like, "I have reason to believe that he's telling the truth about that." Actually, uh, that was one of the reasons because he sent me that, and I was like, I didn't even know how to respond to it, so I just. And that sounds like he, he's saying him versus Nick. No. Well, I mean, I, mean I don't know what it meant. Implies. Like, I didn't investigate. Like, to be fair, it could have meant joining up just with Yay. I don't know. Just with the, or whatever. Or wants yeah. to talk about Yay. I, well, look, I can't. I, I, that's how I took it. Yes. Uh, that's how I took yeah. it, though. Um, so, and again, I was like, okay, well, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to turn on my friends regardless. Like, that's not. I don't know. Maybe some people think that's who I am or whatever. But, like, um, you know, if they turned on me or if somebody was coming at me, yeah, but, like, that's never happened. Uh, matter of fact, I've been blessed, actually, to have good friends, and I would consider Nick a friend, and a lot of these people here on the site a friend, a lot of my fellow, fellow streamers, of course, you, yes, um, and supported me through some hard times, uh, and I would never, like, that would be, like, one of the most treacherous things you do, literally. <laughs> right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I'm like, in the back. That's why I didn't answer because I didn't even know what to say. I'm like, dude, who do you think I am? Like, what the fuck? Like, I can't. I don't know. Uh, Elon Musk sent $3 here. Ralph just wanted to let you know that Linda gives the best head. <laughs> Carry on. Thank you, Elon. I appreciate that. And she must. Um, why is everybody bailing on Yay? Because Nick, Nick's still an advisor. Well, I mean, I don't know. I officially say, I don't know if I want to say, I, he said that. Um, I'm not. Cool, cool, really, with how it's being run now. Um, and I think you're seeing that play out in the press. He's no, he's nowhere to be found, really. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we'll with, see. The, with the, with the um, resignation of the treasurer, I, I mean, most of the people listening right now probably don't understand how important of a right. role treasurer is. It's like the, one of the top key most important positions on the campaign. And apparently this guy was confident because oh, he yeah, didn't want to go to jail. For what Milo did with charging Marjorie Green's ta credit card, Marjorie Taylor Green's credit card for the Yay Twenty Four domain, like on GoDaddy. Firstly, what? Like what? And then she was apparently gonna pay for it, and then he recharged Yay for it. I mean, this is like the the treasurer could go to jail for this like, this sort of thing happening. 
Um, Milo, I mean, Nick finally said it on, on Wednesday night. He said Milo's going to jail. It's just a matter of who's going with him. Well, look, um, and look, I mean, I mean if I'm being honest, that's not good. I, and I said this yesterday. I mean, look, when you have two advisors going at each other uh, in public, that's the sign of a candidate who doesn't have control of his campaign, uh, to be quite well, But frank. he's not even uh, saying anything. That's the thing about the – Well, can look, he get that's not a treasurer? good sign. I don't think any treasurer is going to – a person with that ability is going to sign on after this This Well, this is not a long-term FEC thing that violation. can work. Like, I mean, you know, I tried to – play it up yesterday like oh some people like having a team of rivals i mean this goes beyond having a team of rivals though these are people going out for each other's neck in public and they're using your name to do it i mean like i you have to stop it like i don't know what to say either you have to stop it or you have to fucking quit your campaign i don't know this you, you can't run a campaign like that um and so there is no have them both like that's not gonna work and so I, if i'm telling you not frankly like that no I you mean, can't I, well, in I private they can do whatever they want and right right exactly oh yeah yeah people hate each other on campaigns all the time that's normal yeah <laughs> that's completely normal uh but you don't want this sort of i mean out for blood sniping this is different i mean you know milo's a fucking criminal according to nick and you know it's a matter of not not when but or not if but when he's going to jail according to nick now that's just you know Paid advisor for for Ye saying that about the political director hired by Ye, so yeah, that's not good. And you have all these stories, and you know you have even independent election watchers and you know election experts saying that this is a huge violation. Um, and my worry is honestly, I think you could probably get past this, even though it's like really strange and really fucked. You might be able to sweep one of these under the rug. But, you know, my worry is how many more of these are there? Uh, Anonymous, centaine de dollars, gentlemen. What is your standpoint on the femme question uh, and artificial level? I don't think I like it. It doesn't sound like something I would like. Rogowski sent $5. Wanglin didn't finish his thought on what he won't stand for a minute ago. Okay, you didn't finish your thought on what you yeah, won't stand Yeah, I, I, um, I, I want to just wrap up the thing on Milo. Sure, go ahead. Um, what, I, what I will not stand for and all this other stuff, you know, you can say whatever you want about it, but Milo is an FBI informant, okay? So... He's, we have the, the quotes from the Sines versus Kessler case that were submitted as court documents that were officially accepted by the court as, a, as text messages from Milo saying, my contact's at the FBI and I'm selling information to the FBI. You have that, and then you have that text that you posted of him saying that he, he's informing his contacts at the FBI of anyone who is um, – like making fun of him on the internet and he's going to get people arrested because he has that level of a relationship with the FBI that he can get people arrested. So my rule on any FBI involvement, and this was the thing with TRS years ago when, you know, they, they were saying like, Oh, we can forgive FBI informants and we want to have some contact with the FBI and this type of stuff. Like my, I have straight up prison snitch rules on this. Okay. Like I am like a black guy when it comes to this issue of involvement with the feds, which is if you're a snitch, you got that tattooed on your fucking forehead for the rest of your life and you can never be involved in anything. If you're, if you're snitching to the fucking feds, okay, this is something I will not tolerate uh, at all. And I will not entertain. I will not entertain anyone associated with people who associate with snitches. Okay. So Milo is, a, is an FBI snitch. Let me bringing him Milo onto your anti-Semitic campaign. And has multiple oh, lawsuits me, uh, pending against him. I'll be able to fix it's that. It's obvious that he got his hooks into the Yee campaign Sorry. as an attempt to embezzle money from a rich person and to try and gain relevance again. All right, now I'll make it where I can control it via. Hold on, I'll play that in one second. Finish your finish your thought because I know it cuts you off. Yeah, so I mean, uh, I, I think that's a hard. Was, well, you said, said I, you won't I, fuck I with to, snitches. I mean, people yeah. know how black people treat snitches. Okay, right. They, well, they I understand. I'm from that, Memphis, and the view on that, yes. and that's that's my view when it comes to politics. When you know, maybe God will forgive these people, but I'm never forgiven anybody who's had any involvement with snitching to the to the fucking feds. You can't you can't allow that in a right wing political movement. I don't think you should allow it in any political movement, but certainly one that's constantly targeted by the feds. And once you're in that kind of relationship where you're talking to the feds, I mean, you're so you're, you, you, their hooks are so deep in you that you can't, you can't ever get out of that kind of a relationship. You're, you're in, or you're going to prison. So, I mean, we saw this with Christopher Cantwell, um, where he ended up in prison. Um, after being a snitch. So, you know, and this happened with uh, years ago with that radio host, um, Hal Turner. Uh, so, I mean, people can look at this stuff just from a practical point of view. Um, you, you can't, you can't have these people involved. So if, if, 
Ye is inviting in an FBI informant who are the FBI is is effectively the the police force of the ADL, um, and he, he's inviting in that type of individual with those connections to run his campaign. Then that's so fucking stupid that there's just no way that I could ever put any trust at all in this person's ability to make decisions. Okay, so in the first time Milo was involved, it was just a couple weeks and he fired him. And maybe he didn't know about, you know, this other stuff. But now, I mean, Milo tried to get $150,000 for like two weeks work from, yeah, he he billed them. I think he billed him more than once. He like did. He's billing, now they only paid him 40, for but sure. he billed him like 150, I think, or something like that. Over 100 for sure. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I mean, Ye has knowledge of who this person is. Um, and, you know, I mean, just saying, well, he doesn't follow everything or whatever, that, that's not good enough. Um, and if, he, if he's that disconnected from the people he's hiring, and I'm sure Nick's told him this stuff, you know, I mean, it, Milo is repeatedly identified as a Jewish Zionist. Uh, you know, he has these interviews where he talks about his Jewish identity and his, his support for Israel. Yeah. Um, you know, this is what is the difference between this and and, and the and the handlers that um, that Ye went off on last year? I mean, what what is the difference between this and Harvey Pasternak? Um, I, I don't I don't see I don't, I don't see really any significant difference. Um, so other than that, that, we know more about. Milo than we knew about Harvey Pasternak. I mean, you know, we said that stuff's still a secret, you know, whatever he's involved in. Um, Milo, we have this stuff on record. We have court documents. We have that text that you posted. We know he's an FBI agent, effectively an informant. Um, we, we have all the records of these scams. I mean, this is just crazy and I'm not being involved. And I, I know this is all just going to end in disaster. Um, I think that the Alex Jones interview was the high point and it's just all downhill from now. And so my, my thing is, you know, I, I know there's a lot of young guys out there and probably older guys as well that have, put, that have pinned a lot of hope on this, on this EA 24 thing. That we're going to, we're going to really do some good. And, um, I, I feel like, you know, th- w- those guys are going to be let down. Uh, it's better to do it now than, than later when this gets even worse. Um, it's, it's not going to get any easier and I've been thinking about this ever since he, he went, got married and went dark. I said, you know, this is, this is not what you want to see. And, um, and, and, but at this point, I mean, it's just, it's just out of control. And so I decided, you know, I decided I, uh, you know, I'm pulling the trigger. I'm saying what I got to say about this and I'm, I'm no longer supportive of any of this. Um, uh, you know, I wish him the best. I wish Nick the best with whatever his involvement still is. And I still, I, you know, none of this is anything against Nick. I, I still have hundred percent support for Nick. And obviously, you know, I mean, Nick's the one getting fucked here. Um, you know, cause I, I, I thought his role was supposed to be as, you know, the guy kind of directing the campaign um, is what I signed up for. Um, and now uh, this is something completely different that, Again, I, I just don't want any involvement with, and I, I I advise everybody to, you know, rethink their enthusiasm about this at the very least because this is this is not going anywhere good. I can, I can promise you that. All right, now let me play a couple of them. For some reason, I don't know why that does that. When I, it so it works good to flash it over the screen, but when I control audio via OBS, it doesn't let me actually. I have to like turn that off to actually play the audio. Oh, that's weird. Um, now, I don't think it bothers people to have it flash across the screen, really, but I think the um, the voice. Yeah, obviously, when I have a guest, I, I like, somebody was like, turn off TTS, and I started yelling at him, and I was like, yeah, I mean, I'm basically about to turn it off, but I just play it at certain intervals. Like, I mean, I'm still going to play them. Um, but when you have a guest, you have to, like, wait and let them talk and then play them. Uh, it doesn't really work. When it's me solo, it's fine. Uh, I just get cut off and just start back talking, right? Um, but when it's a guest and you're having a, um, a give and take, you got to kind of have a pause there. So then I was like, oh, well, I actually am about to turn it off, but not the way he's saying. And he's like, oh, and then uh, I explained that. He's like, okay, thanks. All right, now. Well, I don't mind I don't mind this getting a little bit more casual and talking about whatever kind of drama shit. Yeah, we're going to here in a minute. get through this. Through yeah, that. yeah, I yeah. I wanted to let you explain. Out. Exactly. Um, yeah, exactly. I, I know. I want to let you explain, too. Also, Milo hates this picture, I can guarantee you. This is the, this is the picture. Is this real? This isn't photoshopped, is it? This got to no. be the, no. It's not photoshopped. No. He hates that photograph. I can guarantee you. I've never seen it. That is, um, you know, he was pretty. I mean, he was. Um, I has he slimmed down? I don't know. He was a little more thick than I thought. I don't know Jesse Lee Peterson. I think 
You know, this is why I think he went after Jesse Lee Peterson, by the way. Because <laughs> I swear this happened too. This is an F Pack 3. This is an F Pack 3. And he went up to introduce himself. I just heard about it. He went up to he went up to introduce himself to Jesse Lee Peterson. And he's like, hey, it's Milo. <laughs> Dropping guns. That's, you're. He's like, this is Milo. You're fat. <laughs> I was Jesse like, Lee don't play games. He just was saying it like, you know, it was a joke basically, right? Like, but apparently Milo like did not care for that at all. And you notice all these pieces and shit were coming from Milo's direction. Within the next year, I don't think that's an accident, quite frankly, and I can't pin that down, obviously, but I just have a sneaking suspicion. Well, I think, that, I mean, uh, with Milo, you can just go through all this shit that he's been involved <laughs> in. I think he was involved in that hit piece on Jesse Lee Peterson. He was! That's what I'm saying! He was deeply involved with it. Are you kidding me? It was from Church Militant, and he was pushing it like there's no tomorrow. Now, he kind of backed off a little bit, but he never backed, you know, he kind of supported well, Like He never backed off his support. Shit. Jesse Lee Peterson no is shit. not a homosexual. That's stupid. That shit was in that video were insane you know what i don't believe it but i'll say this you better come with something better than that i like jesse lee peterson you're not gonna get a couple crackheads together and have me change my opinion you better have some text you better have some fucking receipts literal receipts and like i you know i'm not gonna just accept some fucking crackheads word i don't give a fuck so anonymous sent five dollars failing eyesight and chubby extremities possibly from edema liver failure I don't know. I don't know. He probably couldn't afford cocaine in terms of ice cream. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I know that that happened. And, um, you know, I I started thinking later on. It was later on that I was like, oh, man. Uh, is this really? By the way, I'm about to play yours, Adel. Well, there's a couple more that I didn't. Um, oh, actually, that was yours that I didn't play. There, I thought there was two more, but it was just yours. Um, yeah, I don't know. That was just always my thought. I don't know if I ever said it on air. But ever since then, I was like, damn, I and because I was like, why is he so anti JLP? And then I started thinking about it and I remembered that story. And it was like literally just last February, you know, February 2022, end of February. And then that story came out maybe like what, summer? You know, I'm, I mean, I would imagine he started <laughs> going in, you know, he started plotting immediately, probably. You can, you can see my quote on there. It's pretty funny on the screen. Yeah, I did. I read it the at the top. Agent Queen. $3. What I don't like is that yeah. he tried to warn Yee against bringing back Milo and explain all of Milo's wrongdoings. And instead of acting on it as a leader, he screenshots Nick's messages and puts it in a group chat with the wife and Milo. Yeah. I, That's apparently what happened. Yeah. Yeah. And again, I mean, you know, he's paying. He can do what he wants. I, you know, I'll say that, but I, I don't have to support that. Uh, you know, I do agree. Like it's, it doesn't. And also it's not even about me having to support. It's not going to work. I mean, that's the, that's the thing. It doesn't even matter whether I support it or not. <laughs> that thing, that long term is not going to work. It's not working short term either. Uh, and so, you know, I don't know what the plan is and I don't know, you know, what they're going to try to do. Um, but I know that they need that blitzkrieg basically. Maybe I shouldn't use that term. Uh, um, Shock troopers. No, that's not the one either. Uh, Vanguard. How about that? Okay. Yes. They need that Vanguard uh, online. Uh, uh, in Operation Barbarossa? Is that no, what no, no. That's not what I meant. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me play this. All right. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.